Hello and welcome to the Pika Stimmage Check and Stimmage Package Update as of December 29th, 2020. Well, today we have, we have the U.S. House of Representatives on Monday voted to pass a bill to increase the $600 checks to $2,000 stimmage checks. And we also have a picture of the most admired man. For the first time in 12 years, former President Barack Obama isn't the most admired man in America, or according to Gallup, a Gallup poll. Trump is opposed, supposedly the most admired man in America. And in the first time President Trump has stopped the, the uh, list alone in the 12 years run by his predecessor Barack Obama, with whom he, he tied for uh, most of my work. President Trump and Michelle Obama named the most admired men and women in 2020 Gallup poll. Isn't that nice? And do you think uh, Senator uh, John Cornyn, I think they say his last name, and Ted Cruz should vote to uh, increase the stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000? And Bernie Sanders is to delay the defense veto override and bid of the $2,000 checks. And this is breaking. And Republicans have a choice. Vote for this, legisla vote for this legislation or vote to deny the American people. And without further ado, I will start our stimulus talks right here because we've got some interesting news for you guys. Because it looks like Mitch McConnell uh, put the legislation together with the bill to uh, repeal Section 230 and put together a committee to investigate election fraud. If these, th if these are three, three things that Trump actually wanted that he said he wanted. So it wasn't as much McConnell did. <clears throat> Well, we have the bill from Mitch McConnell, and let's see what's in it. The bill reads like this. To amend the Internal Revenue's Code of 1986 to increase the additional 2020 recovery rebates, which are just stimulus checks, to $2,000. To appeal sections 230 of the Communications Act of 1934 and for other purposes. I'll get you the other purposes in a second, you stick with me. Um, part one, increase the 2020 recovery rebate, which is just in the checks. And McConnell knew, McConnell's news bill is nothing like the Democrats bill, like the um, Democrats were, because it has nothing about dependent children under the age of 17. McConnell is only increasing the amount for adult non-dependents. So those, the children still get 600 bucks, the adult dependents, Go up to two thousand dollars. The adult non-dependents, sorry, the taxpayers, go up to two thousand dollars. Part two, repeal the section. Repeal of section two thirty. Section two thirty is the part that protects large social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter, basically giving them immunity for what third parties like you and me post on them. He is appealing this section to try and take away some of their immunity because he feels they are biased against him. That's right. You heard me. Trump thinks social media is biased against him. Isn't that nice of him? Democrats won't go for it. Go for a repeal of Section 230 because this is basically a poison pill to him. And then, now this gives McConnell the right to say, Look, I put a $2,000 Sims check in, and it was rejected by the Democrats because of that poison pill. Part 3. The 2020 Bipartisan Committee, comprised of 18 members, of whom 9 shall be appointed by the leader of the Republicans, and 9 shall be reported, uh, put in by the leader of the Democrats in the House. These duties will be to... They're going to study the integrity and administration of the general election for the federal office held in the November 2020 and well, 2020 elections and make recommendations on to Congress to improve the security, integrity, and administration of the federal elections 
So basically, McConnell will put legislation on the Senate floor for $2,000 stimulus checks, a repeal of Section 230, and an elector voter fraud election. The last two parts of this bill basically are um, pill, uh, poison pills for the Democrats. Because the Democrats don't want a repeal of Section 230. And basically, they don't believe that there was widespread voter fraud in the, in the November 2020 elections. Is this how McConnell kills the $2,000 stimulus checks with this piece of legislation? I mean, never know. I mean, he needs 60 votes to get to pass in the Senate before it goes on the House. And we know once it reaches the House, it's going to be shot down because no one's really going to watch it. Well, one was going to vote for it because those two pain, those two pill, ah, man, those two poison pills that McConnell put in there. I mean, I can understand the repeal of Section Two Thirty to you know make it so these big entities, social media entities like Facebook and Twitter stuff like that, aren't completely immune. But then again, the whole elect uh, voter fraud election committee that is actually pretty lame. But We'll see if it passes the Senate, but we do know that the standalone bill for the two thousand dollars stimulus checks did pass the House of Representatives, and Mitch McConnell is just adding stuff to it, so trying to kill it in the Senate. But until next time, I hope you guys have a magnificent evening, an excellent Tuesday, and remember to please be safe, wear your masks, because they sort of do help, I guess, besides making like a bandit, <laughs> and. Always remember, we're in this together because basically, as you can hear from my report, something our Senate is just playing games with our money. So until next time, you guys be safe.